Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the Opcraft channel and today our tutorial is this cute little owl beanie. I have used the purple. I think I probably should have sewn, well take this off and re-sew it closer to the eyes, but that's totally up to you. It's got the little ear flaps and the braided, um, the little braids here so they could uh, tie around your neck. This can be made, uh, I made it in the medium worsted yarn white uh, and just sewed on my eyes here overlapping. I hope you will enjoy this tutorial and um, share with your friends. Please click like and let's get the party started. Hello everyone, this is Yolanda. To get started today, I'm going to be using a J-hook, which is a size 10 or 6 millimeters. You can please look in the um, video description box. It will give you some ideas for different suggestions for uh, sizing. And for the top of the beanie, um, which well, for our little owl beanie, um, you're going to have a main color, which is like the top of the head. You can use whatever brand. I just happen to have some of these Lions brands left, and I like the, the taupe. You could do the main uh, part of the head. You could do it in a, a taupe. You could do what? Like linen. Um, you could even do this little mixture color. It's called, um, what is it? Marbled or oh, gray marble, which kind of looks kind of like the little head of a um, bird would look. You could use uh, gray, um, a dark chocolate, whatever you want. That's going to be the top of your head. I'm probably going to be using this color, and then I'm going to. You're going to need um, your brown. You're going to need a little bit of white for the eyes, and then uh, a little bit of black, and then you're going to need a highlight color. I'm going to be use, doing this one in these two colors. You could do this in purple, pink, whatever, yellow, whatever color you're going to do. At the end, I'll show you some samples of some of the little hats that I'm making for CAPS. CAPS is a college area pregnancy center here in San Diego. If you guys want to donate, they help give um, prenatal and medical care for pregnant women who have no insurance. And it is a Christian organization. I'll put the link. Um, they're in need of baby hats, sweaters, shoes, blankets, and that kind of thing. And it's a really good um, organization. I've been giving to them for quite a while. So to get started, I'm going to be doing um, a variation of my basic beanie. So it's not going to be too hard. So here, oops, we're going to begin by just doing our slip loop. And just putting our chain through there, okay? If you prefer to start with the magic circle, you can do that as well. To begin here, I'm going to chain four by just uh, wrapping my yarn over my hook. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to wrap my hook over. When you see it in a written instruction pattern that says Y-O, this is what they're talking about. Yarning over means wrapping the hook around your yarn. So this is one, two, three, and four. Now to begin, I'm going to slip stitch into my first chain and I'm going to pull out. Oops, if I can actually see this. I'm going to pull out there. This little tail, I will try to work it in as um, I work to hide this. This is going to be used using uh, double crochet stitches and um, slip stitching is pretty easy to do. Just follow along and hopefully you'll be able to get this. To move on to our first round, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. This chain three will count as a double crochet from here for this row and in every row. So now I'm going to hold this little string here. If you want to, you know, um, sew it in later, that's up to you. We're going to do, this is our first double crochet and we need to have 12. So I'm going to need to do 11 more into the circle. So here to do my double crochet, I yarn over, meaning I wrap my yarn over my hook. I'm going to go into that center there and pull it out. You should have three loops of uh, yarn on your hook. I'm going to go through the first three and then my second three. And I'm going to add this is two there, so I'm going to add another 10 more, and then we're going to go up to our next row. So go ahead and do your 10 double crochets there, and then I'll meet you here when we get, excuse me, you're going to have 12, including this. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to do my um, chains, uh, double crochets that are left, and then we'll come back and meet for our next okay, round. Okay, I finished my 11 double crochets, including my chain three. To go up to my next um, chain, there is a small little hole, but hopefully you won't see it too much. If you don't want any hole, then you can go ahead and do the magic circle to begin. To move up, we're going to uh, slip stitch into our third chain. That beginning chain says one, two, three. You're slip stitching into the chain, not on top of the next stitch. So I'm going to pull through there. 
and then to go up here you should have a total of 12 double crochet okay to move up once again you're going to chain three one two and three this is going to be a little bit different because we're going to do two double crochets in every stitch in every chain so since this one counts as our first double crochet our first double crochet is going to be into that same stitch there okay so there's one so these two would be one two in our next chain then you're going to do two double crochets one and two you're going to continue doing that all the way across okay and so um I'm going to go ahead and go and do two double crochets in every stitch across and you should have 24 at the end of this round. So go ahead and do your 24 double crochets and we'll meet here to go up to our next round. Okay, I've done my last double crochet and I have 24 of these in this round. To go up to the next round, I'm going to do the same thing. Slip stitch into the third chain. One, two, three. Round three will also be two double crochets in every chain. So here I'm gonna chain one, two, three, begin my first double crochet into that same stitch. And I'm gonna do two double crochets in every stitch. At the end of this round, you should have 48 double crochets. So go ahead and do all your 48 double crochets, two in every um, chain, in every stitch there, okay? And then we'll come back and work on row four. Okay everyone, I finished my third round, so I have 48 double crochets here. If you're doing this for a male size or a, um, maybe a teenager or someone that has a kind of a bigger head, then um, on round four, you can adjust the sizing to make it a little bit wider at the crown of the head. I usually just stay with, uh, um, for this here. I'm going to do one, two, three, slip stitch into that chain before I move up. If you're doing this for a child or a woman's size, you have normal size head, then for here, we're gonna chain three to go up. Well, for both of them, right? If you're doing it for just a regular, a child, a baby, a woman, then here, we're just gonna double crochet, one double crochet into every chain. So now there's no more increases. You're gonna have 48 double crochets. You're gonna work until you have eight rows of this. So here's one, two, three, four. You're gonna do this row plus four more for a total of eight. If you're making this for an, a man uh, and you're using a size um, J hook or K hook or larger, usually when you do a size um, K hook, I always recommend you do two strands or else it's gonna look really um, like, like there's a lot of holes between it. I don't like that. So if you're doing this for a man, this is what you would do different. Then here you would do one double crochet into that same stitch. And then you're gonna do one double crochet in each of the next five stitches. So every every six chains, you're gonna do an increase, okay? So now we have an increase in every six chains. So here you would increase, and then on the next five, you would just do one double crochet. I'm doing the child, si uh, child hat right now, or a child or a woman small. So here I'm going to continue with just one double crochet in every chain. And for the man size or uh, larger hat, when you go on to rows five through eight, it will only be one double crochet in every chain, regardless of it's a man size or a, or a woman or child size. So here, I'm gonna do one double crochet in every chain, just like my basic beanie. So go ahead and do one double crochet. You're gonna slip stitch here at the end, chain three, and I'm gonna continue until you, you're gonna continue to have eight rounds. You should have eight rounds of this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When you get to eight, stop, and then we will work on the trim color. Okay, everyone, I've done my last double crochet on row eight. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm gonna slip stitch and I'm gonna change colors. I'm gonna be making this the highlight color, the trim color in the purple. So here, one, two, three, and this is where you can use your creativity, use any color, the top and the bottom. So here, uh, before I change colors, I'm going to stick my hook there into the third chain. I'm going to get my purple. Oops, sorry guys, I hit the camera. I'm going to get the purple yarn. I'm going to pull it through. 
So when I slip stitch, oops guys, sorry, here I'm making a mess. Let me try this again. So here I'm doing my double crochet, pull it out through there, okay, and then I did my last double crochet. Now here, one, two, three, putting it through there, grabbing my purple yarn, and now I'm going to tighten my little brown uh, uh, end here because I want it to be nice and taut. I'm going to sew these. I mean, sew these, knot it together. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's time for lunch. Now you can cut off the brown tail there. And now we're going to do two more, excuse me, four more rows of uh, the same way but in purple or whatever color you've chosen. I like to try to hide my tails at the same time putting the brown towards the brown color and then the purple on top it kind of hides it a little bit I'm going to chain three one two and three and then I'm going to repeat what I've been doing four more rows here in my first chain and I'm going to try to bury these there if you prefer to sew everything then go ahead and do that I try to avoid it as much as possible but unfortunately sometimes you just have to um, there's no getting around it. You have to sew them. So here I'm doing one double crochet in every chain all the way around and I'm going to do this for four rounds. So go ahead and finish your four rounds and then we will come back and then here you're going to slip stitch in the third chain. Continue for four rounds and we'll come back and I'll show you how to work on the ear flaps if you want ear flaps or if not you can skip that, that step and then just go straight to making the faces. Okay, I finished my last row of the purple. So here I'm going to uh, slip stitch once. Oops, excuse me. Slip stitch once more through the third chain. One, two, three. And here you're going to go ahead and cut off your yarn. I cut it a little bit long. That way it gives me a uh, easier way to um, sew it in. When it's really short, I can't seem to get my needle in there right and kind of hide it easier. So here is the basic part of our hat okay this is the back part and we're going to uh, sew all of our face the eyes and the beak here everything to the front side if you do not want to add ear flaps then you can go ahead and skip this next section i'm going to start working on the ear flaps next you're going to turn your beanie upside down this way with the back facing you here and this is where we're going to put some stitch markers. If you don't have stitch markers, then use a little piece of yarn or whatever you have left for your, um, uh, you know, from your little stash, a little piece of white yarn. So here, what you're going to do is that you are going to take your beanie and in this middle chain here, here's my little notes, um, we're going to count on either direction. This one doesn't count, so we're going to do here is one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to go to the sixth chain there. We're going to put a stitch marker there, and now we're going to do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to put our next stitch marker there, okay? We're going to have a total of four stitch markers on here, guys, so let's be a little patient there. Okay, and now once you've done that, this number six, you're going to count once again on either side until you get to 16, okay? So we're going to have a total of stitch four stitch markers. So here was six, so here's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then sixteen is there. So you're going to put your stitch marker there, okay? And then the same thing here. This is number six. So you're going to go six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And you're going to place your second stitch marker there. So you're going to have two, I mean, excuse me, two stitch markers in this, the back section, and here in the middle, you're going to have two. So a total of four. And this is where we're going to crochet our ear flaps. If you don't want to do the ear flaps, go ahead and skip this place. Let me get my yarn and then we will begin doing the ear flaps. Okay, you should have your four stitch markers in. Now, this is for the ear flaps. Um, I'm going to start here. It doesn't matter which one you start with. We're going to work both of them the same. We're going to work, of course, from right to left. If you're left-handed, then you would go the opposite way, I suppose. I don't know how you guys do it. So here, I'm going to put my slip, my um, hook there. 
remove my stitch marker. Now I can attach my yarn. Okay, and let me just get this on there for you. I'm going to chain three. If I can get this here. Okay, guys, I did it too tight. Let me try this again. Putting that down there. One, two, and three. Now I'm going to um, do a, a double crochet in my next row here, in my next chain here, as I bury my tail. Okay. And I'm going to do one double crochet until I get to my lats, my stitch marker. Get that tail in there. And you're going to work both um, ear flaps exactly the same way. Almost to the end. There we go. And whoops, here, my last stitch. Let me remove my stitch marker. Okay, now there's our first row. I'm going to chain two, this time only two. And now here I'm going to do a decrease in my first two and in my last two. So here I'm not going to be working in that same first stitch. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go in there, pull out my yarn, but don't pull it out yet. Wrap my yarn again, go into the next chain. Okay, now I'm going to go through the first four hoops and then go through the next. Okay, so that's my decrease. I'm starting to make it smaller there. Then here, one double crochet. When you get to the last two, you do a decrease over the last two. Okay, and remember you work both ear flaps the same way. Two. Okay. Now here, remember the number three counts as a double crochet. So wrap, wrap again, and there is my next decrease. So it's getting narrower. See that? You can see that the shape is going in for our third row. Chain two, one, two. A double crochet here, decrease in the beginning, just like we did before. One double crochet in the next two, and then a double crochet in the last two. A decrease. We go. Okay. So that's our our next row. Would be our last row. And I want you to work both rows, both ear flaps the same way. Chain two, turn over, decrease over the next two chains. Okay, we'll have two left, decrease over the last two. Pull through those four, then your last one. That's your last double crochet and it shaped your ear flap. Cut off so you could bind off. I'm going to go back and do my other ear flap in the very same way. Then we're going to come back. If you want to do a little trim, I like to do a little trim, a single crochet around the entire edge here, the ear flaps and the face. I just like the way it looks a little bit more finished. So that's your first ear flap there. Okay. And we're going to do the second, this tail I will sew in. I'm going to do my second ear flap. The same way, I'm just going to go ahead on my right side, put in my, my um, remove my stitch marker, put in my hook, attach my yarn, and repeat steps, rows one through four, for my next ear flap. Okay, I finished both of my ear flaps. This is the back side here, and I like to finish it off with a single crochet all the way around, and I'll show you how I did it through, uh, I do it through my double crochet post. I think it looks neater. 
Um, so here I'm just going to get my yarn and you can just start anywhere. I like to start in the back somewhere. So I'm just going to go here or maybe the stitch right before my um, where I attach there. Let's hang on a second here. So you're just going to attach your yarn like we've been doing and then I'm going to try to bury this tail as I go along. Um, both tails. And that way hopefully it'll save me a little bit of sewing. So here we're just going to chain one and then in that same chain here I'm going to do a single crochet. I'm going to go in there, pull out, there'll be through two loops and I'm going to pull through both. And on these sections where it's just um, the chains and of course it's going to be easy to just figure out your single crochets all the way around. When we get to the ear flaps then I'll show you how to work. We're going to work one in the ridge of the rows, one into the double crochet post and then again in the ridge so that it will be the same on all of the uh, all of your stitches going around. Okay, This little piece I'm going to have to trim that little fuzzy part there. And sometimes at the end I like to use a fray check. It really helps with keeping things from um, fraying and getting all ugly. So here I'm moving up to my my um, my little ear flaps. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. I don't like to get too close because sometimes I get out of the camera. So here you can see that there's a ridge from our double cro from our rows where we go up rows. So here's a ridge, another ridge, a ridge, and then uh, and so on. So here. What I like to do, since I already did my single crochet into that ridge, now here where I have my double crochet, I'm going to go into the double crochet, not not under the hole there because that'll make a big space. So go into your double crochet, do your next single crochet there, then the ridge comes next. You're going to do your next single crochet into that ridge. Okay, that's still that tail. The next. Your next stitch goes into the post of your double crochet. The next stitch goes into the ridge. So it's all single crochets all the way around. And see how it's making it look a lot more like a nice finished edge. And if you want to do a second row of single crochet around your hat, that's up to you. Um, some people like to look at do it twice because they say it looks more finished. That's totally up to you. I think once would look okay. So you're just going to work around my top chain here. Here's another tail. I'm going to try to bury that tail as I walk as I walk my work around as I work my work around here. I just said as I walk my work around. Okay. And I want you to continue the same way all the way around in until you get to your other edge where you started. You're going to fasten off unless you want to do two rows of double, uh, single crochet totally up to you. Here's my next ridge. So see here, I'm going into the post, into the ridge, here's the ridge, I'm going into the post next. The next space is the ridge, so I'm going there. And then of course when you go on top of the this part, it'll be easy to find your chain. It's just that space. Here's my last post, I'm going in there. That tail was pretty long, so go there. Into my ridge, which is actually my next chain. And then I just start working all my chains all the way around, single crochet. So I want you to do it that way, all the way around. And if you want to do more than one round, you can. I'm just going to do one round. And if you want to do this a different color, you can. I like to do it the matching color that it kind of blends in. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And when you guys have finished, let's come around and then we could see how our work looks a lot nicer than just this way. See? So I'll go ahead and finish and then I'll meet you here around and we'll go and start working on the face. Okay, I've done my last single crochet. So then here I'm just going to slip stitch into my beginning stitch and then I'm going to leave a tail so that I could sew it in. And we're done with that part of the beanie. Okay, so remember this is our back part. You don't want to sew anything uh, face to this part. We'll do the little tassels if you want to do the little braids with the tassels um, when we finish the face. If not, you could just leave it like this way. I like to put them on there. It's easier to hold on, especially for a child. So here, what you're going to do, um, some people can use like to use a button um, for the middle part of the eye. I get really scared with the eyes falling off, especially when you're doing it for a child. It just kind of worries me that, you know, 
there could be an issue with it so um, if you want to do a button then you can just start you would start with your purple yarn because you're gonna have this is the accent color the button will go on top of here so um, I'm going to the way I'm going to do it is that I'm going to do it with the black yarn that way I don't have to worry of uh, any choking hazard so I'm going to start with my magic circle you do need to do the magic circle for this put the short end here on your left side on your left hand turn it around if you don't want to do this magic circle then go ahead and do the with your purple then you could cover it with the button I'm going to go in there pull out my yarn okay I'm going to chain one and I'm going to make my half double crochets one two oops if I could get there three four and five okay just gonna do five let me get this chain here once I pull it through there I'm trying to hold the end of the magic circle I'm gonna pull my magic circle shut okay so it's just a small part for the middle part of the pupil usually you could replace this with a button if you just want to do it I like to do it this way that way there's no danger of the button falling off so now I'm just gonna slip stitch into my second chain there okay, I'm gonna cut this yarn and now I'm gonna change colors and add my the color that I had here for my accent if it's you yellow blue whatever color you did I had purple so now I'm changing to my purple yarn I'm pulling it out now let's see where's the middle okay that's the middle and I'm going to tie my end to my black end here I'm going to trim these um, ribbon these yarns because then they're kind of start to get in the way this will all be sewn in the back of the eye so you don't have to worry about those showing now here I'm going to chain let me see here my eye one I'm going to chain one, two, okay? And now I'm going to, this one's counting as my double crochet, my double crochet was well, smaller than double crochet. I'm going to go into that same chain and do my next double crochet. You're going to do, oops, excuse me, I went through both of them. You're going to do two double crochet in every chain. I know it's hard to see this because it's black, but go ahead and do two double crochets in every chain there and then you'll have 10 double crochets at the end including this first one counts as a double crochet so go ahead and do your 10 double crochets two in every chain and then we'll come back and move on to the rest of our eye okay i've gone to my last double crochet i'm going to sing, slip stitch into that second chain now i'm going to cut the purple yarn and i'm going to change to my white yarn okay and now for my next two rows for my white we're going to do the same thing we did here um, in our bottom um, row two meaning we're going to do uh, two double crochets in every stitch this one here I'm going to go ahead and chain two and I'm going to be doing two double crochets in every um, space here and then I'm going to come back and do my second row the same way two double crochets so go ahead and do your two rows and then we'll come back and then we'll do the nose. You're going to have to do two eyes like this, okay? We're going to do two rows of the uh, of the white, okay? So go ahead and do your two rounds of your double crochet with two double crochets in every chain. Okay, I've come to the end of my second row. So I'm going to slip stitch there. And remember, if you want to use a button, instead of doing the black middle then you would do two rounds of purple okay I don't like using buttons for kids eyes uh, anything that's going to go in a child's um, item because it just scares me so we're going to do our second eye I know they look huge and they're supposed to look huge as one and then our next one will go right there so go ahead and make your second eye and I will come back when I finish my second eye we'll make our little nose then we'll just add our little um, eat the little feathers up here and our little braids and we'll be done.